miles. No, the, I mean, it's water baptism. It's an extra 20 minutes of your day. We've got clothes. We've got everything that you need to be water baptized. And at the end of the day, listen, it's about obedience and always the right time to do the right thing is right now. You want to know what can keep you from being water baptized? Really? Nothing. Absolutely nothing except your disobedience. If God's calling you to be water baptized or even to be re-baptized, it is in your court. And my prayer for you is that you will say yes to God and you will obey Him in water baptism and you will have a powerful experience just like this Ethiopian eunuch. We've set this up over 2,000 years later. Look, here's some water. Listen, we're going to get you the right time to do the right thing is right now. We can get you baptized right now. And I love what it talks about. You know, the Spirit took Philip away, but I love how it said that the eunuch never saw him again, but he went his way rejoicing. I'm telling you, you're going to go to a new level of joy in the Lord. You're going to go to a new level in joy this year as you obey the Lord in water baptism. Bow your heads right now. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for your word. I'm going to ask this one time at all of our locations. Listen, if you know God is calling you to be water baptized, there is no excuse. The right time to do the right thing is right now. And I believe the key to your joy, the key to a breakthrough in, in the joy of the Lord for this year, and you having a year of rejoicing, is doing just what this Ethiopian eunuch did. And that is getting water baptized on the spot right now. Whether or not you have a change of clothes, we've got all that covered for you. It's in your court. So if you're going to be water baptized today, if you're ready to be water baptized, you don't need to sign up. You just need to stand up when I count to three. And I'm going to do that right now. Do not push this off. Obey God in water baptism. Here we go. You ready? When I count to three, if you're going to get water baptized right here, right now, I want you to stand. Ready? One, two, three. Come on. Stand up right now. Stand up right now. Give them a hand, everybody. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Keep standing. Keep standing. Look at all the people getting water baptized tonight. Keep standing. Keep standing. Yes, yes. Amen. Look at this, guys. Give them a hand one more time. What a great night. Hey, listen. I'm going to give you some instructions in just a moment. You can go ahead and be seated. I'm going to give you some instructions, but I want to tell you two stories first because this may this may touch one of you or somebody else in here. This morning, um, at the before the 9 o'clock service, there's a volunteer out in the parking lot. She was waiting for her husband to pull up. And um, a, a gentleman walked up to her, and um, he said, Hey, do you go to church here? And she said, Yeah. And he goes, Well, this is my very first time I'm visiting today, and I have some kids and I want to come check the church out to see if, you know, I think the kids will like it and everything. And, and um, she said, well, come on in. And so she took him and kind of showed him around the back and showed him the kids area and whatnot and answered a couple of questions he had. And then, um, you know, she said, do you, do you have any more questions? He said, no. And so she's all right, well, thanks. And he said, all right, thanks so much, you know, for all the information. And, and she just kind of had assumed that he, you know, left. But he ended up, he came into the sanctuary. Very first time he came. Family wasn't with him, right? He was up here doing some recon, doing some reconnaissance. And, um, and guess who the second person in his street clothes to get baptized was at the 9 o'clock service this morning? It was that guy. And so she saw him, like, getting up into the pool. And so she ran up to me after the after the mess, after the service, like, to share that story with me. I just thought it was incredible. He didn't go change or anything. God just, you know, moved on him. And he was just obedient to that. He, he got baptized. And then also, after the 12-12 service... Um, this morning, I mean, we were like, everyone was gone. It was like staff and, and a few of the youth and some people. And, and this couple comes walking in. And, um, uh, well, do we have that video ready? Let's yeah, watch this video right quick. I shot a video. All right. We were at home watching church online this morning in our pajamas. Uh, listening to the message, Snowball said, uh, the top five reasons people don't get baptized and um, after hearing a couple of those reasons we jumped in the car and drove to the closest campus. In the confession of your faith is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that is so cool man. They were at home watching. They jumped in their car. 
sped up here and they were too late. But we um, we gathered up some people and said, let's go in here and support this couple. Pastor Justin changed back into his his bathing suit and put back on the wet, you know wet clothes uh, when it's cold and everything. I mean that's not torture, but you know I mean it, it was cool. And I was so proud of our staff and everybody came and and they agreed to to let us shoot that little video for them. So. This is a powerful time. What we're going to do um, at this point, if you want to get baptized, we have the shirts that you see a lot of the worship team wearing and the volunteers, and that's yours to keep if you get baptized tonight. So you can, and there's shorts also um, in the bathroom, in the men's and women's bathroom. So at this time, if you want to get baptized, you can either go to the bathroom, men go to men, women go to women, don't try to get crazy, we got security out there. You can go out there and, and change into the baptism clothes and then come on back in here. We'll get you baptized and you can go back and change. If you want to just get baptized, maybe you didn't bring clothes, you weren't prepared to get baptized tonight. If you want to just go get baptized in the clothes that you're in and then go and change into the into the shorts and shirts, you can do that as well. We have towels, ponytail things. You heard all the stuff Pastor so said. There is zero reason. We facilitated everything tonight um, for you to be baptized if God is calling you to do that. And we just, you know what, our prayer is just that you're obedient to it if, if that's what God is speaking to you tonight, okay? And um, at this point, the worship team, listen, if you've been coming to Celebration Church, our service starts at 5.30 and 6.15, all right? We're way early. We designed the service that way on purpose. So there's, you know, uh, what we'd like to ask you to do is to just, if you're not getting baptized, we're just going to worship some more. So you feel free to, uh, we're going to have you stand here in a second, so just worship. One cool thing, too, is if you want to, make your way kind of over here by the pool and encourage and cheer for these people that are making this public declaration today. You can come and clap and applaud for them, or you can stay in your seats and worship. We just ask that if you stay in your seats as you worship, be in prayer for these individuals over here. Be in prayer for their families and for the decision and the boldness that um, these men and women are taking, all right? So the worship team is going to lead us. Let's worship. We've got plenty of time. We're not in a rush. And um, it's early, guys. It's early.
said, I'm coming back when I get baptized. She just got baptized. God's so good.
Look at that. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm like, oh goodness. Hey, I got Kevin, it. get back 